Hey everybody, welcome to Forge Comic News. Top 5 must buy comics for August 16th, 2017. I'm as always Chris, and we'll jump right into it. Starting at Marvel, I've got Spider-Man 2, number 2. That's written by Brian Michael Bendis with art by Sarah Pacelli. So the Taskmasters come. It looks like the ultimate Taskmaster, so we don't know how he's gotten to this universe, where he came from. Miles and Peter have both found the dimensional portal that was there before Secret Wars that should be gone. So there's an interesting question there as to what's going on with the supposed lost uh, Ultimate Universe. And on top of that, we got this whole backstory with this other Miles from the 616 Universe and what's going on with him and who he is and what he is. So a lot going on there. Next, I have from Image, Invincible, number 139. This is written by Robert Kirkman with art by Ryan Otley. Uh, it's, for this, just more, more going towards the end. Awesome battles, tying things together. Uh, you know, last issue, spoiler alert, we had the death of Omni-Man. Is he dead? Is he not dead? How is Mark going to react to this? Because he's obviously in tears at the end of the issue. Lots of stuff going on that we want answers to. So, looking forward to that. Also from Image is I Hate Fairyland, number 15. Now, this is written and drawn by Scotty Young. And in this, we got Gert, who's finally found goodness. She's back to the Gert that was there at the beginning. Very happy, very... You know, looking to do good things. Is this the end of I Hate Fairyland, where Gertrude finally completes her task and finds her way out. We'll see. Next from DC, I've got Futures Quest Presents number one. This is written by Jeff Parker with art by Ariel Elevetti. I think I did that right. <laughs> um, so this series is going to take place after the events of Future Quest. So all the characters came together, they defeated the, the enemy, and now they're going their separate ways. So now we're going to get little stories from each character through Future Quest Presents. This is going to go with Space Ghost. I mean, Space Ghost was the reason I got into Future's Quest. He was the one linchpin that I really enjoyed prior to Future's Quest. I mean, I have some knowledge of Harvey, Harvey Birdman, but honestly, that's Harvey Birdman turning at law, not the real Harvey Birdman. Um, and some of the other stuff. So... More Space Ghosts, looking forward to that. Really love Future Quest, love what DC's doing with the Hanna-Barbera pro uh, properties. And this one looks to be just as good. Finally. Mine and Mike's Pick of the Week. We've been looking forward to this book for years now. Dark Knight's Metal, number one. This is brought to you from DC. And this is written by Scott Snyder and art by Greg Capullo. So this is Snyder and Capullo's triumphant return to Batman. This is the story that they've been building up to since the beginning of the New 52. Um, it's just the Justice League has... Bat okay, so if you've been reading casting and all the other intros, Batman has found a door into another universe that we've come to learn is the Dark Universe. So now, with all this meddling that Batman has had he's going to have to go to the Justice League because he can't handle what's coming towards him, which is a bunch of evil Batman with the Justice League's powers. So a Flash Batman, an Aquaman Batman, Superman Batman, so on and so forth. It, it just looks like to be a great book from probably one of my favorite Batman teams in recent memory. Um, and it's going to be huge for DC. I mean, if you saw the checklist, there's like... 50 books tying into this. This is a Marvel style crossover at DC. So it's, I mean, I, I hope it's great. It looks great. I'm sure it'll be great. But that's all for this week. Uh, remember, if you're watching on YouTube, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, do all that fun stuff. Comment below. I love to hear from you. People who do talk, I try to get in there and chat with them too. Um, and as always, Look forward to Sundays where the Fortress Comic News podcast posts on 
all podcast platforms and on YouTube. And thanks everyone for watching.